going to do now, this. I'm waiting for the taxi driver to pick me up. Apparently, he's dropping off someone else. It is September 2018, and I'm in Ethiopia. I'm here to record the sounds of the cloud forest in a part of the country called the Harena Forest. I flew all night and I just landed in Addis Ababa. I only got half an hour of sleep, but that's nothing new. I spent the first day finding my bearings, making contact with my driver, visiting the city, purchasing provisions, doing a little field recording, and tasting the local cuisine and coffee. We were supposed to leave early this morning because the road to the Harena forest takes roughly 12 hours. But there was a delay with getting a SIM card for my phone and we left around 11 a.m. I'm sure this will not impact our travel plans in any way because I usually hate driving at night in Africa. We need to go over to the left, where all the tracks are. Where you see on the road. All oh, right, it's the forest, yeah, with the humidity. Well, let's try to keep to the road. Yeah. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. I'm at Bale Mountain Lodge in the Horena Forest. We got here late last night, around 11 p.m. And I, it was dark, so I couldn't see anything. We just came here, I had a quick dinner, and uh, I went to sleep. And now this morning, I woke up to this. Bali Mountain Lodge is the perfect place for exploring the Harina Forest. And even further in the Saneti Plateau and further south towards Kenya. It's a rather upmarket lodge offering excellent food, traditional coffee ceremonies, local guides with fauna and vegetation knowledge and really comfortable cabins overlooking Bali Mountains. After a quick but delicious breakfast, we jump in the car and we go do some scouting. I am joined by my driver, Ama, and by the local guide, Brook. So I'm here in Ethiopia, just south of Harina Forest, and I discover something you might be interested in. This is actually fresh coffee. Raw coffee, as raw and fresh as it gets. This is not really harvest time, it's still green, so it still has to become yellow and then red. Time for a cup of coffee. Back at the lodge, I pick up my gear and we go drop it off for my first overnight recording session in this new location. The night soundscape is excellent, as expected, with plenty of frogs, insects, birds, soft rain and fog drip, and just all-round goodness.
Good morning. It is 7 o'clock on Monday. My rig is out. It's been recording all night. I'm hoping I got some interesting calls at night. I could hear a different type of night jar that I've never heard before. It's either I heard them or I dreamed about it. And now I have to go get breakfast, grab my rig, come back here, replace the batteries, replace the SD card. And then we can go, we can drive to Soleti Plateau. It should be interesting as it's a different kind of uh, environment. I'm hoping to see the famous Ethiopian wolves. Shaping up to be a good day. After another delicious breakfast, we drive up to the scenic Saneti Plateau. The night before, when we passed by here, I couldn't see anything because it was too dark, but now I can see it in all its glory, and it's just freaking magnificent. Hi there, so I'm on the Saneti Plateau, I'm at a conservation camp, I had a chat with a researcher who gave me a few tips regarding recording in this area. I got a lot of photos of rodents and of rock hyrax, which is really good, they're nice and fluffy, cute. No recording sadly, because as you can see it's incredibly windy, I think it's the wind speed is about 40 miles per hour or so, so I might come back here in a couple of days to try and do some recording because this place is, is really good. The rats, the grass rats, they make these sounds, they sound like birds. So, and there's a few rare birds around here as well, like ruddy shell duck and uh, blue winged goose and a few other rarities. So it's worth coming back here on a less windy day and doing some recording. I think now we're going to head back to camp and I'm going to leave my rig out overnight in, a, in the spot where I recorded the frogs yesterday. Which sounded really good. Apart from that... Oh! I forgot to mention. I got a few decent photos of Ethiopian wolf, which is the rarest canid in the world. I photographed it while it was hunting and as it caught one of its favorite prey, which is the giant mole rat. So overall, it's been a good day already. I'm hoping to get even better photos and recordings today. As expected, the weather turns for the worse, so we have to drive back to the lodge because it's too stormy and windy to do anything on the plateau anymore. But I definitely need to get back here. So we are setting up the rigs and there's a hyena looking at us. So we're here at the spot where we want to leave the rigs out. But there's a hyena who keeps looking at us. So I'm not sure how we're going to tackle that. The hyena seemed awfully interested in our gear, so we had to drive around for a bit. But then we lost it, so we could do the short hike from the road into the forest and leave the rigs out.
today we woke up early so we can go pick up the rigs and then be back at the lodge in time for another delicious breakfast with a view. I also get a chance to have a quick breakfasty listen to my recordings from last night, which are surprisingly good. I was only expecting to record rain. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. I've had a quick breakfast to listen to last night's recordings, which aren't too bad. I managed to record just the start of the dawn chorus. A lot of frog action from the nearby pond, a lot of insects, and just as the dawn chorus started, the colobus monkey started to make a lot of noise, which sounds quite interesting. It is a bit humid, it rained last night. It's not such a big problem, I have waterproof gear. So, in about half an hour we're heading out, going further south from here and then deep into the forest. We're bringing machetes and we're going to try and get some daytime recordings of the cloud forest. Driving through the Harina forest is just sublime either on the main road or through forest tracks. With the help of Buruk, we managed to get deep into the forest. This fallen tree is blocking the road slash track. Somewhere deep into Harina Forest. We leave the main rig out recording and we drive further south towards Kenya so that Ama can get some fuel and I and Brook can go explore and hopefully find some good places for recording. I'm also curious what this place looks like because it's quite different from what we've seen so far in the Harana forest and on the Seneti Plateau. The location has excellent potential for field recording, not necessarily for pristine nature but mainly for countryside ambience. We have to come back here and spend at least a full day exploring and recording because today I only had my small handheld with me and didn't do much in terms of field recording. Left the rig out overnight. Got a few scratches in the bushes. Something quite stingy. This is a beautiful place for recording. It's a swampy area with grassland and a big clearing in the forest. So you get the slapback delays of the frogs croaking and hopefully other birds and insects tonight. After leaving the rigs out for yet another overnight session, we come back to the lodge and spend the rest of the day walking around and being amazed by the multitude of small birds. Good morning, it is 6 a.m. on Wednesday. It rained all night, but now it seems like the clouds are dispersing. At least it's not raining anymore. You can hear the colobus monkeys making a ruckus as always in the morning. I'm heading out to pick up the recording rigs. We left them overnight in the swamp, hoping I recorded something else besides rain and frogs. I'm a little tired, I haven't had a good night's sleep in a while, but that's no problem. Today we're probably going to head out to the giant heather trees forest and see if there's anything interesting to record over there. 
those monkeys really do make a ruckus. Good morning, Grandma. How are you today? Good, good. Yeah, excellent. So it's morning. We're at the swamp. There's a good variety of birds. Morning. And I have to go through this bush to reach the recording rig. Ah. It is 38 minutes past 6 in the morning. It looks like it rained quite a lot last night. And I have to take this out of the bush back to camp to check it. So I'll see you later. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. I decided not to go to the Erika forest to get today anymore because there's a Christian holiday and there might be celebrations, music, loud voices, vehicles and there's also today's market day so there will be a lot of traffic lot of and I'm not sure how far away we can drive off the road, off the main road. So today I'm going to chill until lunchtime and then maybe we can go for a hike or We'll see. I haven't made up my mind yet. Went around and looked for suitable spots for lavalier microphones. Found a few, but it's become a little windy, so I might do that on Friday. Because tomorrow we're going back to the plateau to try and mic up the burrows of the various rats and rodents. It is an incredibly beautiful day. Oh, I forgot to mention, I had the breakfast to listen to last night's recordings, obviously. I think the breakfast listen is becoming my my catchphrase now. Richard came up with it, but I'm going to steal it. There's so many so many birds flying around here. It's difficult to focus. Anyway, I had a breakfast to listen to the recordings from last night, and as I mentioned this morning, it rained a lot, so there's quite a lot of rain going on. Distant frogs and their calls bouncing from the tree line, which is quite interesting. It's different from the previous night's recordings. And towards the morning there's a sparse dawn chorus. There are a few vehicles because, as I mentioned already, today is market day, so people and vehicles had to move through the only road in the forest. But I can cut those out and I'm still left with plenty of usable material. I still haven't got a decent recording of the Colobus monkeys, which I will try to focus on after tomorrow. And my plans were originally to stay here for a week and then to drive to Bonga Forest, which is a similar environment. Cloud forest where wild coffee grows. But it's a two-day drive to get there. So I might skip that and either stay here for remainder of my time in Ethiopia or actually drive to Dinsha which is the park gate the park headquarters and go to the web valley where there's a higher density of Ethiopian wolves which I might be able to record so still haven't made up my mind yet I'll be I'll sleep on it and I'll see I just picked up my handheld here, the trade camera, 
And now we're heading towards the place where we left the main recording rig overnight. And as we walk through the bush, we can hear a beautiful dawn chorus. You can hear Epsilon ground thrush, Epsilon catbird, a few other birds I cannot ID. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed listening to these recordings, you can actually purchase them as part of my African Cloud Forest sound effects library. Find the link in the description. You can also support me by going to my Patreon page and becoming a patron. Your support will help me dedicate more time to producing these videos and is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for part two of my adventures in Ethiopia.